thank you what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog this vlog i think is going to be a combination of just spending a couple days together and then also sort of like a mini reading vlog i've been choosing to read over being on my phone over watching my show which is not always the case but it has been the past couple of days i feel like i've regained my obsession with reading i'm actually on my way to the bookstore right now so you guys will be joining me for that too but i came to starbucks really quick to pick up this drink this is the iced pumpkin chai tea latte it's like really creamy and it has just a slight flavor of pumpkin. I'm gonna take you guys with me to a few places today, but the first one is the bookstore, so let's go. Technically, I'm not here for like a big bookstore trip. I plan on getting two books. One of them is The Housemaid and the second one is Practice Makes Perfect, but we'll just have to see how many books I come out with. This was not supposed to happen. Let me give you guys a little book haul. So the two books that I initially wanted to get, I did end up getting them. This book right here is called The Housemaid. This is actually the book that we're gonna be reading in my book club. So I wanted to come pick it up to have it ready for September. This is supposed to be a really, really good thriller. So I'm super excited to read this book. This is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. If you guys watched my last reading vlog, you might've seen that I read One in Rome. And this is the book after One in Rome. I've heard so many people say that this one is better than One in Rome. So I'm really, really excited to read this one. And this is technically where I was supposed to stop, go to the checkout line, walk out of that store, come back to my car and drive away. However, I did not do that. Instead, I ended up picking up four more books. I didn't even realize I did this, but all of these books right here are the sequel to another book that I've already read. The first one is this one, this is Scarred. This is the second book in the Never After series. I find this series to be really, really interesting because it takes stories that we already know and puts a dark twist to them. So yeah, I picked up Scarred. This is another one that I'm so incredibly excited to read. This series is called Kings of Sin. The first book was King of Wrath. I I loved King of Wrath so freaking much. If you guys haven't read King of Wrath, I cannot recommend it enough. It is so good. It's a billionaire romance. It's like an arranged marriage. It's enemies to lovers. It's just a little bit of everything, but it's so good. My expectations for this one are a little bit high. So here's hoping it's good. Another sequel that I finally got is Daisy Hates. I read Magnolia Parks a few months ago and I still have not read the second book in Magnolia Parks, which I don't know why I haven't just ordered it on Amazon. I'm not gonna lie. I almost didn't get it because of the cover. I've seen this book with a different cover and it's so much prettier. I feel like but i'm still really really excited to read this okay last book i picked up this one is not a sequel i'm pretty sure this book is called the nanny i don't know what it was about seeing it today but i was like i just have to read this book and i think this will be a good one for like a quick little read including practice makes perfect i ended up getting four sequels i've been wanting to read these for like the longest time but i find that i am the worst at reading series like i'll like the first book i'll really really enjoy it but i just always procrastinate reading the next one in the series because i just want to read another one and like get into something else but all of these i'm incredibly excited to read I just stopped at the cutest little juicery place I got I don't even know what's in here but it sounded really healthy and I picked up two little juice shots this one's called the scorpion and this one's called the prisoners this one has apple cider vinegar lemon ginger garlic turmeric cayenne and oregano oil yum and the prisoners one has green apple, lemon, ginger, and cayenne. That one was good. This looks like the painful one. Done. I decided to start this book tonight, King of Pride. Also, I just have to quickly talk about a book that I finished a few days ago. I read this book right here, Love Theoretically. I honestly can't even tell you guys how much I enjoyed reading this book. I thought it was so freaking good. Something about these Allie Hazelwood book covers, they always make me assume that it's gonna be like a really cringy sort of romance read, but I honestly love this book so freaking much. I have read Love Hypothesis, I've read Love on the Brain, and now I've read this one, and in my opinion, I feel like this book is the best one out of all three of them. The whole vibe of this book is basically that the main character, Girl, has like the biggest reason to not like the main male character, but no matter how hard she tries to not like him, he makes it impossible. It might just be one of my favorite reads of the year so far.
That's a bold thing to say. It is 97 degrees right now, and I'm doing some fall shopping. I really wanted to get some fall things at the Dollar Tree, and I remember last year around September when I came and looked, it was already too late and like a bunch of things were already gone. I'm not gonna go to like Target or TJ Maxx yet, but I am gonna check out what Dollar Tree has for fall things. having the best night. I'm about to watch Pretty Woman, which is seriously such a good movie. Obviously, you can't watch a movie without a snack. So I have some ice cream. This is a Trader Joe's cookie butter ice cream. So freaking good. I have a little bit left in there. Also, I've been reading King of Pride all day long. I've been editing all day, doing chores, cleaning around the house. But throughout the entire day, I've been reading this book. I'm probably gonna finish it tonight. I have like 50 pages left, but I don't wanna finish this book. I've just, I've been reading it all day and it literally feels like I'm watching a movie with this book and I don't want to finish it. Like I'm so in love with these characters and with this story. I really don't want to move on to something else. I saw some people say that they didn't like this one as much as the other one. And I could honestly kind of see why. At least for me, King of Wrath is still my favorite. Like this one is really, really good, but it's not as good as King of Wrath. And I think that's because King of Wrath had so much more drama. Like that book just had so much, there was just so much going on in that book. And it was so intense and interesting the entire time for me. But this one was just a little bit less dramatic. And I feel like that's kind of the entire point of this book because the main male character is supposed to be like this incredibly nice and polite and intelligent man so he's not dramatic or like problematic or anything but yeah i have that much left i'm about to finish it This is why my sleep schedule is so messed up. I finished King of Pride and it was so freaking good. Also, I loved how so many of the characters from her other books showed up in this one. If you guys have read the Twisted series, Alex and Ava from Twisted Love are in this book for like a chapter. Christian Harper from Twisted Lies was in this book. I just loved reading about these other characters that I really, really loved too. But yeah, this was so, so good. And I'm so excited to read the third one, which I'm pretty sure is King of Greed. Now I'm gonna choose the book that I'm gonna start tomorrow and then I'm gonna go to bed.